Blessed is our God, always now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, Lord, everywhere present and fill us all things. Treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Almost Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot on our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One. Visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and God. I'll be loved to thy dwellings, O Lord of hosts. My soul longeth and fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh are rejoiced in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the turtle dove a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, and even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, and through ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee, he hath made a sense in his heart, and the veil of weeping in the place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the lawgiver will give blessings, they shall go from strength to strength, the God of God shall be seen in silence. O Lord of hosts, hearken unto my prayer, you hear, O God of Jacob. O God, our defender, behold and look upon the face of thine anointed one. For better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners. The Lord loveth mercy and truth. God will give grace and glory. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that opened in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all thy wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Turn us back, O God, of our salvation, and turn away thine anger from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us unto the ages, or wilt thou draw off thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and put us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation do thou give unto us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints and to them that turn their heart unto him. Surely nigh unto them that fear him is his salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is sprung out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down thy ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in me. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. Make glad the soul of thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and gentle, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of mine affliction have I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy work. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and workest wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost Hades. O God, transgressors have risen up against me, and the assembly of the mighty hath sought after my soul, and they have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and true. 
Look upon me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thy handmaiden. Work in me a sign unto good and let them that hate me be holden be put to shame for thou, Lord, hast hoped in me and comforted me. Work in me a sign unto good and let them that hate me be holden be put to shame for thou, Lord, hast hoped in me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I was shown to be a dwell- desert dweller, an angel in the flesh, and a wonder worker, wonder worker, O our God, Mary, Father Macarius. Having received heavenly gifts through fasting, vigil, and prayer, thou healest the infirm and the souls of those who have recourse unto thee in faith. <coughs> Glory to him who hath given thee strength. Glory to him who hath crowned thee. Glory to him who worketh healings for all of thee, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages of men. O thou, for our sake, was born of a virgin, and did suffer crucifixion, O good one, and didst spoil death by death. And as God didst reveal the resurrection, disdain not that which thou hast fashioned with thy hand, show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one, except the Theotokos who gave thee birth, who interceded for us, and to thou our Savior, save the despairing people. Deliver us not a for thy holy name's sake, neither disannul thou thy covenant. And cause not thy mercy to depart from us, for Abraham's sake thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages and ages of men. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord. Blot out our sins, O Master. Pardon our iniquities, O Holy One. Visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the age of Amen. Amen. Having in life reached the end of a blessed life with the choirs of the martyrs, thou dwellest in the land of the meek, as is meet, O God, bearing Macarius. And having populated the desert as it were a city, thou hast received from God the grace of miracles. Wherefore we honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who fallest all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life toward thy commandments. <clears throat> Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guard and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. <coughs> Without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, be we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God be gracious unto <coughs> us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who art long suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even unto this present hour, where thou didst hang upon the life giving tree, and didst make a way into paradise for the wise thief, and by death didst destroy death, be gracious unto us sinners and thine unworthy servants. 
We have sinned and committed iniquity and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and behold the height of heaven. For we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness and have walked in the desires of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake. For our days were consumed in vanity. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary and forgive us our sins and mortify our carnal mind. That putting aside the old man, we may be clad with the new and live for thee, our master and benefactor. And that thus, by following in thy commandments, we may attain to rest everlasting, where it is the dwelling place of all them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and unto thee we send up glory. With thine unoriginate Father, and thy most holy and good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on, who coverest thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garment is his mantle, upon the mountain shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest a bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains will the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge. From the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men. To bring forth bread out of the earth. And wine maketh glad the heart of man. To make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nest, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. Young lions roaring after their prey, and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. But man shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord! In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation. So is this great and spacious sea. Therein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there this dragon, whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. <clears throat> Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord will rejoice in his works, who looketh on the earth and maketh it tremble, who toucheth the mountains and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. O that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knoweth is going down, thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. 
in peace, let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple, and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our great Lord and Father, His Holiness, Patriarch, Kirill, for our Lord, the very most reverend, Mitchvalt, and Alari, and for Syarch of the Russian Church of God, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commander, Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this land, its authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For the God preserve Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy monastery, for every city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Call thee to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Baal Tokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For unto thee is due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. to the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee, I can I to thee, O Lord. Let my prayer be set for the sent before thee, the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. I can I to thee, O Lord. Before my mouth and a door of enclosure round about my lips, incline up my heart into words of evil to make excuse with excuses and sins with men that work iniquity, and I will not join with their children. The righteous man will chasten me with mercy and reprove me. As for the oil of the sinner, let it not anoint my head, for yet more is my prayer in the presence of their pleasures. All that is near by the rock of their judges then. They shall hear my words, for they be sweetened. As the cloud of earth is broken upon the earth, so as their bones are scattered, nigh unto Hades. For unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, are my eyes, and be of my hopes, take not my soul away. Keep me from this day which they have made for me, and from the stumbling blocks of them that work iniquity. The sinners shall fall into their own death. I am alone, and shall I pass by? With my voice unto the Lord have I cried, with my voice unto the Lord have I made supplication. I will pour out before him my supplication, my affliction before him while I declare. When my spirit was fainting within me, then thou knewest my path. 
Is this waver in I have walked the Ephraimus snare? I looked upon my right hand and beheld, and there was none that did know me. Light it failed me, and there was none that watched it out from my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my hope, my portion art thou in the land of the living. Attend unto my supplication, for I am not very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may confess thy name. The righteous shall wait patiently for me, until thou shalt reward me. Out of the depths of I cried unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou shouldst mark iniquities, O Lord, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness. O Father, you see me as an angel of heaven was sent to announce beforehand. The birth of thee who thy charm did spring forth from the womb of a very woman. For thou didst show thyself to be an imitator of him, and a homeless one who spread possessions, sharing his way of life and like the Baptist, sustaining thyself in the mountains and shining forth with boundless miracles. <coughs> for thy name's sake of I patiently waited for thee, O Lord, my soul hath waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath fought in the Lord. O Father, you see me as that was brought forth as a fruit of barrenness, yet was truly shown to have many children. For the desert which before was trackless became filled with monastic and spiritual seed, and now make thou supplication that our souls be granted peace and great mercy. <coughs> from the morning watch until the night, from the morning watch, let us try a hope in the Lord. O Father, you see me as thy life was excellent and thy faith truly orthodox. For through activity thou didst attain unto the most exalted vision, Becoming an abode of wisdom, worshipping Christ into natures as one of the Trinity, Him do thou beseech in behalf of our souls. In the fourth tone, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with Him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquities. O thou who was sanctified from thy mother's womb, when the eye of him who seeth all things, perceive thy purpose and inclination, leading constantly toward those things which are sublime, then, O most blessed one, Declaring thee to be a God-given gift, the namesake of goodly courage, he freed thy parents from their sorrows. Well, for advancing from infancy, thou didst please God our benefactor. Him do thou beseech, that he save and enlighten our souls. Praise Him, all ye peoples, finding thee to be like a clear mirror of divine revelations. Christ illumined thee with the radiant splendor of His light. O Father, who art full of gifts divine, wherefore thou hast been shown to be a wellspring. Overflowing with healings and a feeder of the hungry, watering with rings the desire of those who thirst, and looking upon souls as pledges, O wise one, by thy discourse thou didst uplift them to God. Him do thou entreat that he save and enlighten in thy soul. For he hath made his mercy to prevail over us, and the truth of the Lord abideth forever. 
Shining forth with vision and energy, thy life was angelic, a standard and most excellent model of virtue. For those who desire to worship God in perfection, and thy divinely wise discourse, O Euthemius said thou to worship the Trinity, that Christ is known to be one in two natures, and that the councils were equal in number to the four Gospels of Christ. Hereof do thou beseech, that he save and enlighten our souls. Glory in the third tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Dedicated to God from thy mother's womb, like another Samuel, O Father Euthymius, thou wast the namesake of goodly courage for the faithful, the staff in confirmation of the monastics, and the pure habitation of the Holy Spirit. Ask the great mercy for us who honor thee. <coughs> Both now the dogmatic they are talking in the same tone. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Temptation of the husband, O blameless one, thou hast given birth in the flesh to a fatherless son, who was begotten of the father with the mother before thee. Without his undergoing change, or confusion, or division, but preserving intact the character of both essences. Thee is to praise, to thee is to a song, to thee glorious to, 
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the holy evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. A Christian heading to our life, faithless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant us, O Lord. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. For good God art thou, and the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To Be the dominion of thy kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the age of salvation. of celestial beings with joy by the radiance of thy life and thou making thine abode with them filled with light and enjoying most blessed and divine effulgence entreat Christ that he grant great mercy to our soul precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints made steadfast by the staff of the cross that is trying of torrents of iniquity and no magically watered by the torrent of divine sweetness and the well springs of paradise now it is poured forth springs of salvation in the desert and irrigated with streams of the divine spirit, like a palm tree of venerable wine, thou didst hasten to the heights of heaven, and did show thyself to be a fiery pillar, full of luminous effulgence, so divinely wise one. Well, for a tree, Christ, that he grant great mercy to our soul. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. In his commandments shall he greatly delight. Truly thou hast passed over with joy and gladness of soul to the wondrous tabernacles. Even unto the house of God, our most blessed Father, 
Without us listen to the beautiful voices, the sweet harmony and the ineffable delight of those who keep festival, sharing in their beauty. O Euthymius, and desiring their salon, thou didst mortify thy flesh. This thou didst attain, adorned with divine righteousness, entreat Christ and grant of the world great mercy. Glory in the same tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Venerable Father, Thou gavest no sleep to Thine eyes, nor slumber to Thine eyelids, until Thou didst free soul and body from the passions and didst prepare Thyself as a dwelling place for the Spirit. For Christ, coming with the Father, made his abode with him thee, as thou art a favorite of the consubstantial Trinity. O Euthymius, our Father, thou great preacher, pray thou in behalf of our souls. Both now in the same tone. <coughs> Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. We bless the O Virgin Theotokos, and we the faithful glorify thee in as is meet. Thou art a saleable city, impregnable rampart, steadfast intercession and refuge of our souls. Now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, a light of revelation for the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ears of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the age of salvation. Amen. Rejoice, O desert, who has not given birth. Be of good cheer, O thou who hast not felt the pains of travail. For the man of spiritual desires hath multiplied children for thee, planting them with piety and nurturing them with abstinence, unto the perfection of the virtues. Through his supplications, O Christ God, Bring peace to our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The mystery hidden from before the ages, and the authority given to the angels, hath been revealed to those on earth through the Otheotokos, God incarnate in unconfused union, who willingly accepted the cross for thy sake, and thereby raising up the firstborn man. 
He has saved our souls from death. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our great Lord and Father, his holiness, patriarch, for real. For our Lord, the very most reverend, much fault in Alari, and first high ark of the Russian church abroad, and all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, Archimedes, Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for this land, its authorities, and armed forces. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the God preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy monastery, and for all our fathers and brethren, God, for their rest before us, and the Orthodox here and everywhere laid to rest. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of this holy monastery. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. More than all others we have sinned against thee, and we have transgressed, O Master, and if we have not acquired repentance, instead of repentance, accept our offering. And having set thyself to mercy as thou art almighty, free thy servants from the coronavirus, groaning in pain, we pray thee, quickly hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Look down, O Master, who lovest mankind, upon the sacrificial labors of our medical workers. Send them steadfast health, strength, and fortitude of spirit, wisdom to accomplish their work for the good of our people, and bring about through them the healing of thy suffering servants. We earnestly pray thee, quickly hearken, and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. That thou mightest look down with a merciful eye upon the people of the Ukrainian land, and make it unconquerable by those who work strife. We pray thee, O kind-hearted Lord, hearken, and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray to our Lord and Savior that he might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety, and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray that he will bless the building of our new church and that its foundation may be laid successfully to the glory of his name and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion by the power, operation, and grace of the Most Holy Spirit. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present who await to be great and abundant mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For our merciful God art thou and the love of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, Father, He that is is blessed, Christ our God, always now and ever unto the age of salvations. Amen. Establish, O God, the holy Orthodox faith of Orthodox Christians unto the ages of ages. O most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and the uncomparable glorious and the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the Italy magnified. Glory to the O Christ God, our hope, glory to the Eve. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father bless. May Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the intercessions of the honorable, glorious prophet, foreigner, Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and all praised apostles, 
of the holy great martyr and healer Pontalema, of our holy and God-bearing father Euthymius the Great, of our holy father Euthymius, you monk of the caves who resteth in the far caves, of the holy martyrs Inna, Inna, and Rima, the, the Scythians, the, the disciples of the saint Andrew the Apostle, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim the Nana, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. Our great Lord and Father, Kirill, most holy patriarch of Moscow and of Russia, our Lord and very most reverend to glory, metropolitan of Eastern America and New York, through his power after the Russian church abroad, the all venerable abbot of this holy monastery, our commandment, Seraphim, the brethren of this holy monastery, and all Orthodox Christians, preserve our Lord for many years.